This lesson is about smart art. Now, smart art is great for depicting a list in a visual way. We don't want boring bulleted lists. I could have this, these are my seven reasons for coffee in the coffee lovers document. I could have that as a simple bulleted list and we're gonna do a bit on bullets and numbering a bit later on. However, it's really boring, but I'd love this to look a lot nicer. So I'm gonna take my bullets off. I've popped this document in here. I've popped this test text in this document so that I can copy and paste it into some smart art. So I'm going to come down the page and I'm going to come to the insert ribbon and I'm going to choose smart art. And then I get to select what kind of visual effect I want to pop in. So I can choose a category like a list. This is a list that would be a good one to go with. Uh, and I can choose one that I like. So I'm just going to choose the first one for now because I'm going to show you how you can change it. So we're going to choose that one. So the first thing you'll see is I have more layouts here. So if I don't like that layout, I can very quickly change it. And if I hover over them, you can see what they look like. But there's no text in here just yet, so it doesn't really make any sense. I can also change the colors and it's going to pick up the colors from my theme and fill them in in different ways. So it'll use the different accent colors from my theme, but I'm going to leave it at the basic one for now. Over here on the right, if I want to add more to this, then I can add more shapes. And at the moment, I've only got five, although I actually have seven things to put in it. Um, I could add a bullet under a shape too. So let's have a look. I can also expand the text pane and I can do that from this little button here. And if I close that, you'll see I can click here and that opens it. So what I can do now is I can select this text and copy it and I can just simply paste it in there and get rid of that last one, which we don't need. And that's given me my seven shapes. So now I can come into my smart art design and I can go and hover and see if there's one that better suits what I'm trying to say. And you'll see they all change based on what you choose. That one's quite a good one and so is that one. So let's go with that one. Let's change its color and go for a more colorful one or maybe not that one. We can choose. Um, it looks like I didn't choose very good yellows for this theme. That's quite nice. Then I have some different styles, so I can make them look more bold, more washed out, all of those things. And if I don't like any of those things, I can reset it back to how it was. So let me pop it back into that colorway. And here I can expand or close the text pane. So if I click on this one here and I choose add a bullet, then it will give me a space to put bulleted text. Now with this particular design, that doesn't work very well. Uh, so I can change it to find one where it does. It works better for that one, doesn't work for that one. And you can see that you have lots and lots of options of, um, of what to do with this uh, Smart art. Smart art is something that I use a lot. Now what I could do is I can simply copy this and come into my coffee lovers document which is over here close my headings uh, and maybe come down the document here uh, and let's pop it in here control enter we've got a nice page and maybe i'm going to pop it in there now of course it's going to take on the smart art design from this document um, because whatever colors i've got going on in here this doesn't have the coffee island theme so i can come to the design ribbon and make sure that I've got the Coffee Island theme applied and then it picks up all the colors and looks exactly how I want. So that's how to start working with SmartArt. In Word, unlike PowerPoint, I can't convert a bulleted list to SmartArt. That's something I can do in PowerPoint. So if you're madly looking for that option, it just doesn't exist but you can still create stunning graphical representations of your bulleted lists using SmartArt in Word. And one of the other things that we can do is we could even format this particular um, line in different ways. So if we don't like the shape fill that it's given us for any of these shapes, 
we can change them ourselves. So we can either pick the ones that Word suggests for us in the Smart Art ribbon, or we can do our own formatting because each of these elements is a shape. So again, I could fill in the circles if I so wished um, with the different colors from my theme. And uh, it just takes a little bit more work. It really depends on what you're trying to achieve, whether you want to keep it simple and straightforward or make it fancy. I'll see you in the next lesson.